Hello guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to make Wi-Fi bars for iOS 4 only. And um, what you need is uh, Photoshop CS5. You can get that at Adobe.com or somewhere else. But right now, I'm going to show you how to do this. So click New. Width at 20 pixels and height at 14 pixels if that's for Wi-Fi bars. Now I'm going to zoom in to like 900. Okay, so you can see that better. Um, now you just make a new tab. You want to download a new. Um, you just want to download some Wi-Fi bars that look sort of like this, but maybe have color to it. And what you want to do is you want to click New. First, you want to open it up in a new tab, and you want to see how much, see what the size of it is. Just keep that memorized, and then make a new and then type your sizes in there and then you'll get a new bar and then just drag that image into that so you'll have something that looks like this not really wait you'll have something that looks like that so and then once you get that done you click this little thing right here it won't look like this so it'll just take all the colors away from it it's just looks like this and it's under styles bar now what you want to do is you want to click your paint bucket tool it will be under gradient tool you want to right click on gradient tool and click paint bucket tool now you want to only keep it like that delete the background because you don't need it no more you just want to keep it blank like this now save as I made a new folder on my desktop, so you should do two. It's called UI Images, capital U, capital I, capital I again, and then Mages. So, type black, capital B, underscore, zero, underscore, Wi-Fi, capital W, and then capital bars. Okay, save it as a PNG. Save. Okay, now you got that done. Now, you get your paint bucket tool ready. Click whatever color you want your bars to be, and then you just click on what. You just click on the first one. Okay, you just click on the first one. Now you save that to your desktop in UI images. And I click on this so I only have to type one. So you type one where the zero should be, and then save. Okay. Now, if you want to do it like this, oh crap, if you want to do it like this, you can. Or you could do it like that, doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm going to do it like this because I think it would look better, because it goes up too. So, save as PNG Wi-Fi bars. Two. Okay. Save. Okay. And then go up another two. So you have it full. Save as PNG black underscore three Wi Fi bars. And then save. Okay. Now you have a folder on your desktop called UI images, and inside there you have black underscore zero Wi Fi bars black underscore one Wi-Fi bars, black underscore two Wi-Fi bars, and black underscore three Wi-Fi bars. And they all should be the wrong size. So what you want to do is you want to drag one at a time into here, this white square uh, rectangle. So first I'm going to do black zero. It'll look weird once you, until you like zoom out like that. And then you want to delete the the background layer. Just delete that. Okay. Now save as. You want to save it to the same folder. Same thing. Just overwrite it. And click OK. Now you want to click back, back until you get this white background again. 
Now, do the other one. Keep doing that until you're done. Okay, now you should have that done. You have them all saved into the UI images folder. You overrided them all with the smaller sized one. And remember you had to delete the background so you don't have the white still on there. I'm going to zoom out and show you how this looks. Okay, it looks pretty sweet. You have that done pretty much. Now you want to make another folder on your desktop. Call it whatever you want. Name mine Blake. Blake dot app dot uh theme I refresh okay see Blake dot theme UI images drag UI images into that folder I can't do that right now because I have that open Anyway, just do that, and you'll have UI images in this folder, and then just drag that folder right here. It's called Blake.theme. Drag that into iFunbox. I'll show you the folder. I'll show you. Should have it right here. See? Var stash themes dot blah blah blah. Okay, and just drag the Blake, whatever I just said, folder into there. And then you'll have your Wi Fi bars. And um, you won't have your Wi Fi bars when you open it up into a uh, application. So to change that, to fix that, just copy all of these. Copy. And then. Um, Let's uh, just paste them on your desktop and then just name them, just change the black part to silver. Okay, now you got the silver ones. Copy those again and then you drag them back in the UI images. You have your black ones still. Now you have your silver ones. Black ones are for the ones that when you're on your home page. Silver ones are when you're in an app. So now you finally got that finished. Drag UI images into Blake theme. Whatever it yours is called. Mine's not working because I'm using the files in Photoshop. So just do that and you'll be good. And don't forget to drag it into your themes folder. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe, rate, comment. Do whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.